Okay, so it is Armenian Christmas. I'm currently on my phone. We're gonna go to Old Gyumri and we're all glammed up, wearing a dress. She's gonna try to open the door, let's see. I don't think that's the door. You guys, we got our own little place. signatures okay so far the food is so freaking good mm -hmm. we really haven't had time to vlog we've been eating we got the horovats which is really good like their barbecue this salad is Arman armenian salad yeah armenian salad is like literally like from armenia is what she says like it tastes that way um we got zuk, the fish what else did we get? Oh, we got this other plate that Emmy ordered, which was sausage and like potato. That was good. This sauce was pretty um, katsu. Katsu. Um, spicy. So yeah, but everything else has been good. Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am blogging again today from our trip to the Getty Villa and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm taking my cousin for the first time. She hasn't seen it there at all. Uh, and also we have some of her cousins and aunts join us today. So are you ready? Mm -hmm. Maybe? A little bit? Yee, look at her! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Um, they did check vaccination and uh, negative test results. For me, I don't have my second dose due to the reaction that I had. So I don't have my second dose, therefore they checked uh, my test. Good thing I got tested on Tuesday. So with that said, um, they checked my negative test result because they wouldn't accept if I didn't take my second dose. I want to cry, okay? And then I got my keys and I have pepper spray on it, obviously, because I want to stay safe. They don't allow pepper spray in the Getty Museum, so just keep that in mind for the next time if you're coming. So here we go, round two. Hopefully they will let me in now. <laughs>
to old times, you want to drink water. And you got to go get water in this. Right? Oh, it's here. This is this way. Oh, It's a hole, is all we know. <laughs> okay, so you put your appetizers right here, and then whatever that goes in the bowl, you know? Mm -hmm. And you put your wine in this. Mm -hmm. I call this a celebration cup. Because <laughs> everybody's like celebrating. Yeah. Here we go. So I would say this is a pretty good date idea place. Um, unless you know that particular person really hates like museums and things like that. But other than that, there's like coffee place and food place here as well. Um, but I think it's just a really nice place to take somebody as a tourist as a tourist as well. Yeah. Right there. There's so many beautiful things. I just think um, it's more than a museum because the vibe is also like very naturey and um, open. So it's good. Look who I found. Mm -hmm. Amanda, what do you think so far? I have lots of opinions. <laughs> lots of opinions? You're like, first I need coffee. Another side of this world. Okay. I feel like this would be a good performance place. Oh yeah. Okay, whoa, this is where we're at to have some lunch. It was also like a one minute away from the Getty uh, Villa, so very convenient. And you get a beautiful view. I haven't had the food yet. I will give you a review of the food soon. Right, Amanda? Awesome. Awesome. Look at the view. Hello! Hi. Hello! Hi. Are you there? Um, so 
so we're heading home. Um, we had a very quick day because uh, Amanda has to pack to go back to her home. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to do an overall, like, you know. No, they don't know. Uh, wait, I'm trying to find my words. I know. Overall rating of getting museum or getting villa and the place that we had food. I think getting museum is a really good place to go as a date or as even a place to relax. I really love the vibe there. Do you agree? For day. The, the, yeah, it was good for a day. Is it? But but not for a day, actually. I, I feel don't like think. for a first time, like if the person's really into like museums yeah, and if, if they are, and, exactly. yeah, that's really nice. And then the food was really good. I would 100% recommend that place. It wasn't like super fancy or anything, but the place and the, during sunset, it would have been really nice. I think sunset is the hour that you want to go there. Mine was good. Calibre. And like really the south, the south. can't wait it. And the oysters were also not bad. It was not the best, but it yeah. was good. Yeah. Yeah, I had my regular chicken sandwich because I still don't know what fish I'm a little bit allergic to and I'm just a little bit iffy about seafood in general. Uh, but from looking at their food, it was really good. And so far, so good. I think we're good. Uh, here's another vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you can. Please and <laughs> and yeah, let me know how we do and what else you guys want to see next. So you want to say bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello, hello. I I had the most craziest week this week or in last week and like this whole entire life. But anyway, <laughs> I got into an accident which uh, was very stupid. Like, I wish I could tell you I was on freeway or somebody bumped into me or I was distracted by my phone or by a dog on the side or something like that. But <laughs> it wasn't any of that, okay? Um, I go to pick up my brother. I go in the car. I sit down in my car, I'm in my driveway, and I put my phone on uh, wherever I'm supposed to put it. Basically, I put it away. I put music on and I'm ready to, you know, do a U-turn and go get my brother. <sighs> I miss looking left. And I make a turn, and guess what happens? This car was going very fast and they were pretty close to me and I bumped into his car. Now, um, I do wish that I could blame it on somebody else, but I can't, it was my fault. And again, I was not distracted or anything. I mean, maybe in my head I was living in La La Land like I do every day, but um, you know, I was just making a left turn. <laughs> Basically, I was about to make a left or we can call it U-turn. So this is like the parking driveway or let's say this is parking driveway and I'm like parked here and instead of going forward to go, you know, to go straight to wherever, I make a left and I try to do this like whole U-turn thing to go the other direction. So when I wanted to make a U-turn, I did not check my left mirror and I hit a car that was coming like this and I hit the back of their car. Um, yeah, that's about what happened. Uh, I, did my, I did hurt my hand a little bit, um, but other than that, nobody was hurt. Everything was fine. It's just <sighs> the next day I had to call my cousin for help and... Um, I guess he congratulated me on my first ever accident, uh, but I'm just kidding, he didn't. But other than that, he helped me a lot. So um, here's everything on the next video. Bye, car. 
They're taking the car. Bye. Okay, so uh, aftermath of the car accident, my cousin, right here, cool dude, he's taking me to uh, my Zumba class that I have to teach today, and I'm also vlogging on my phone right now, so I can, I hope you can hear me as well. But yeah, that's about it. We're going to Zumba class with no car. The car is at the dealership or the repair store, whatever you want to call it. What do you call it? Repair shop, there you go. <laughs> okay, let's go. Great year already. Yeah, first accident, it felt horrible. Uh, not recommended at all. Um, zero out of ten. Negative zero out of ten. <laughs> I hate it. Um, my car is fine, also. My car is fine. Um, but the wheel. <laughs> Don't tell me. In order for my car to go straight, I gotta keep the wheel like this doesn't make sense to me and if I straighten it we're going on the other side so that doesn't work <gasps> okay so because I bumped into the car and it's where I was sitting and where my tire was and all of that so when I bumped into it um, <laughs> no airbags came on uh, thank god uh, but my wheel the alignments got messed up so in order for me to drive my own car the wheel had to be the opposite direction and that was my straight so the alignment of the car just kind of got uh, all over the place but uh here's some videos and vlogs that i was able to took i wasn't able to obviously vlog during the accident uh because i was just like shaking and i was very shocked um, if you haven't had an accident or a ticket, you know how it is. Um, but yeah, first accident, woohoo, at the age of 20 something, great. That will ruin my record. Anyway, cheers, cheers. Emil's here, but he doesn't want to get recorded. No.